Hey guys, what's up? Cher here from No Fucks Giving Crew. So, I just wanted to show you a couple pieces that I've been working on. Uh, so we got Chris Cornell and Kurt Cobain joining us today for the reading. So this is going to be a Divine Masculine. So I'm just going to put the camera down. So this will be for May the 30th until June the 7th. So I'm using the John Holland and uh, the Fairy by Lenormand. Um, so I'm just going to alternate those two decks um, as well as use my cards for confirmations. And I've already shuffled them pretty good. Whoa. So the Queen of Pentacles just popped out, so that uh, could represent an Earth sign. Okay. So I'm going to do a um, split divine partnership reading, okay? All right. Whoa, Jesus, things are jumping around. So beginning with how the masculine views the union or the relationship. Wisdom, high priest. So, um, you make him, uh, the feminine makes him feel wise spiritually, um, and this could also represent the masculine's 5D connection to the feminine. So there's a sense of them having um, this spiritual connection and um, sharing wisdom and knowledge with one another. But it could also represent that the masculine is feeling like a spiritual leader. The Page of Pentacles, um, the King of Wands, and the High Priest again. So Page of Pentacles represents communication in the 3D. Uh, it could also represent planning. So it's starting to see your future, long-term goals, and then planning towards that. Um, so it could represent, um, you know, students acquiring information, knowledge. Um, the King of Wands could represent a fire sign, this could be earth sign, uh, but this represents a masculine feeling powerful. Uh, the feminine makes him feel powerful. Uh, wand is spirit energy, so it has to do with your higher calling. Uh, but this is very passionate um, energy. It's, um, you know, being a leader as well, but being um, a rebel, uh, detached from society and its conditioning. So. He is someone who would lead a revolution, that kind of energy. And then again with the high priest. So his crown chakra is activated. And um, he's standing in his power. You, Divine Masculine, are standing in your power. Um, sorry about that. I, I, I tend to feel like I'm talking to the feminine a lot of the time because, you know, that represents like 70% of my... Um, you know, subs is, so, yeah, I'll try to stop doing that, but anyway, um, you, the feminine, make him feel powerful, um, and spiritually connected, so you bring him closer to God. Okay, what are you resisting? Two of Pentacles, so this has to do with making a decision, um, in the Twin Flame reading, we're getting that energy of you wanting to walk away from something. So uh, the Two of Pentacles represents finding balance while that change is occurring. Um, but it also could be, be an energy of being pulled in two different directions as well. Two of Swords, King of Swords, and the Strength card. So Two of Swords again decision. There's two uh, choices, two roads to choose from, and they have far-reaching consequences. Because they're so important, there's stagnation. There's a sense that you cannot make that decision, so things just aren't moving. Um, the King of Swords could represent an air sign, uh, but this is having mental clarity, um, making decisions, being an authority, um, being very knowledgeable. Um, but communicating your decision, um, knowing your truth, and following that truth. So there's a sense of knowing your true higher calling, your higher path, wanting it 
to be manifested into the 3D, but unable to do that, uh, unable to find that mental clarity, that balance in order to make a decision. Um, the strength card represents um, using kindness and love and compassion in order to deal with the situation. So maybe he's not feeling strong, um, and it's because, you know, the, the decision is just too great to make. message from higher self lovers card again so the feminine got this in the recent past position so it's this is you know that passion that um, you know desire that you share with your twin um, but it is a, a longing or wanting that union but there's a sense that he knows that connection um, on a soul level and his, his higher self is telling him to follow his heart Solar Plexus Chakra, Ace of Swords, whoa, well, two came up for that. So the Sacral Chakra and the Moon card. So lots of sacra, uh, lots of chakras, sorry, I can't talk. Okay, so the Solar Plexus has to do with courage um, in order to make that decision uh, regarding this relationship, you know, moving towards his heart. Uh, his higher self is telling him to make that decision to decide and know his truth, cut away the boundaries, the darkness, the fears um, with that sword. And then the sacral chakra has to do with your emotions. Um, so again, it's like he's being activated and is bringing up fear is what I'm feeling here. The moon card uh, represents all those hidden fears that are you know, hidden but beneath the surface. Um, so it has to do with your, um, you know, your shadow aspect as well. The devil represents the shadow side, greed, you know, that kind of stuff in the 3D world, whereas the moon has to do more with that, um, you know, that negative energy, that fear, being kept in the dark, um, not seeing things clearly. But there's a sense of him, you know, finding that clarity. He's starting to see his way and activate, um, you know, become more spiritually connected. Uh, and that's what's helping him understand this twin flame connection. Okay, so I'm going to switch to this side. Okay, so um, recent past position, Divine Feminine. So he's had a connection uh, with the feminine um, well, let's see what else chariot four swords and seven of pentacles chariot represents going after the things that make you feel emotionally fulfilled uh, and taking the reins controlling yourself through that vortex using the board to maneuver around obstacles uh, the four of swords represents um, withdrawing from negative situations in order to heal your heart, calm your mind, and make decisions. And the Seven of Pentacles represents waiting. So it's putting a lot of effort into something and then waiting for that return, waiting for the payoff, so a pregnant pause. So in the recent past position, there's a sense that there's a movement forward very quickly towards the feminine and then a withdraw and a pause. So you know, the, uh, this movement towards the feminine and brought up some fears in the masculine. Uh, so he needed to pause and reevaluate in order to move forward again. Present position. Messenger. So this is communication. It's forward movement. Um, so apparently this woman rides a deer and delivers messages. So what does he want to communicate? New beginning. Nine of Cups. And Star card. Wow. That's crazy. So we got a one here. And then wish granted, wish granted, and the Fool. So the Fool card, the Feminine got this as a final outcome. So it's a brand new beginning. He wants a brand new beginning. Fresh start from zero. Um, you know, taking that leap of faith. Um, following 
nothing specific, but, you know, obviously he's following his heart by these cards, but the fool is supposed to say, not having any attachments or expectations, just taking that leap of faith. So the Nine of Cups represents, uh, you know, wish fulfilled. Um, so it's on, wishes fulfilled on an emotional level. So this is, you know, an arrival, the Nine. It's getting to a point where you can enjoy these things, you know, do the things that make you happy um, and emotionally fulfilled. So it's, you know, going to restaurants, taking trips, um, just being around people that are laughing and having fun. The star card represents wish granted as well. So he wished upon a star and his dreams are coming true, manifested. So again, this comes after a difficult period of time. So he withdrew to heal his heart and that's what this card represents. The worst is over now. Um, your dreams are coming towards you. You're manifesting a new life for yourself. Okay, so um, future position, anchor. So heavily grounded energy. Uh, the feminine was bringing that into the union, so it's you know being unwavering, unmoving. Nine of Swords again. Throat chakra, wow. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, this card showed up in his present position, your present position, masculine, for the Twin Flame reading. So um, the Nine represents coming to a completion, nearing the end of feeling anxiety, stress, fear, worry, uh, inability to sleep, being kept up, up at night uh, by thoughts. Um, so there's a sense that you come out of that, that ends. And it's because you, you communicate something. Uh, the throat chakra was in the recent past, or sorry, the present position for the twin flame reading, and it came up as a final outcome for the masculine. Um, so communication is very important between the twins right now. So there's a sense that the masculine fears communicating, um, but ultimately overcomes that. And we got the Queen of Pentacles, which could represent an earth sign, uh, but this is, you know, the Queen 3D. It's the one that you can hold and feel and um, caress, but she also represents someone who is independent, can stand on her own. She, you know, is a businesswoman, but she's also, um, you know, very motherly. She looks after her home and runs a business at the same time. So. She enjoys the finer things in life as well. So, you know, because uh, the feminine is being represented as this 3D physical energy, there's a sense that he fears speaking to her in the 3D. But ultimately, we got these two heavily grounded energies, um, you know, the anchor and the queen of pentacles is also earth grounded energy. So there's this unwavering, unmoving um you know, view of the feminine, which provides stability for the masculine to overcome his fears, you know, and take that leap of faith towards his future. But there's a sense that he's still holding on to, to a lot of fear. So purging still needs to occur. Okay, so I'm going to get those out of the way. So, um, the message from the universe, destiny. So, Wheel of Fortune, again, karma coming back to you in a good way. So, um, the universe is telling the masculine that um, destiny is knocking on his door. And, you know, again, his heart chakra is open and activated. Queen of Cups, Sun. And the Divine Feminine. So Queen of Cups could represent water sign, but this is someone who's deeply loving. Um, heart chakra open, um, intuitive as well. Uh, so she's connected to her emotions and she's an open vessel. Very much like this picture here, you know, the heart chakra open and um, kind of standing in her knowing. The Sun card represents all the happy feels, so it's best major arcana, um, and it represents a new beginning. So the masculine, or sorry, the universe is telling the masculine 
that there's this new beginning, this new opportunity, and to follow his heart. Um, so we got a 10 here, which reduces to 1, and then um, this reduces to a 1 as well. It's a 19. So we got an 11, and then two feminine energies being represented. Sorry, you can hear the kids uh, playing outside. I didn't realize they'd be so loud. Okay, so the Divine Feminine, um, this is a goddess, sorry, the Queen of Love, whereas this is the Goddess of Love. So, again, there's a sense of a new beginning um, that he's getting messages or synchronicities from the universe um, telling him to, you know, have this new beginning with you, to take that leap of faith. Okay, so what is in his environment? Wow, again, balance. This showed up as a foundation. So maintaining balance, you know, this there's this mirroring of energies in the twin flame reading. Um, so there's a sense of both sides coming into balance currently. And this could also represent, you know, karma coming back to you in a good way as well. Six of Cups. Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. So the Six of Cups represents somebody from the past coming back, someone from childhood or past life, and represents pure, innocent love. So the masculine, um, you know, feels this loving energy, this pure energy from his environment, and it's um, providing balance for him. The Eight of Swords represents a mental prison uh, being consumed by fear, anxiety, stress, uh, but it is an energy that's coming from the outside. It's self-imposed, so it's like this prison is stopping this love connection. Um, but the, you know, the prison of the mind is an illusion. You know, you choose to believe that you are are held back. The Knight of Cups represents forward movement, um, and it's an expression of love. So it's romantic gestures. Courting, um, you know, it's a longing for love once again, that wanting energy, longing for a connection, but um, being held back from it. So he feels this balance, this love, but he can't move forward. And what does he fear? Five of Cups. So he fears that his heart is going to be broken. So he was bringing this energy into the union for the Twin Flame reading. Um, so again, you know, he fears that his heart will be broken, um, so he's guarding himself. Base chakra. Wow. Again, with the lover's card. And again with the five of cups. So the base chakra uh, represents security, safety. Um, it is a grounding energy, like it's starting from the beginning. So he feels unsafe. Um, unsure, you know, of offering his heart. The lover's card, once again, is that burning desire, um, you know, feeling this love, soul connection, and longing for it, wanting it. So there's a sense that he knows this connection. Oh my god, they're loud. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I might have to pause the video. There's like 10 of them screaming outside. Okay, um, so there's a sense of him understanding this connection, but it fears, it scares him. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll pause it. I'm just gonna look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Truth, wow, judgment again. Okay, one minute. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so the lover's card. Yeah, it's longing for that, knowing that connection, but guarding your heart. Uh, then we got the Five of Cups again. This is kind of like a feminine energy, masculine energy. Energy. So there might be some mirroring going on that I was talking about with the Twin Flame. Be careful. If you're fearful, the feminine is going to pick up on that energy as well. So, you know, find that balance. And um, don't close yourself off. Um, follow your heart. This, you know, your feminine loves you deeply. And yeah. 
so there's a feeling that he wants to open up and he will ultimately but there's fear of having his heart broken still holding him back okay so like I said judgment this is a grand awakening um, so this was the crowning energy for the twin flame yeah uh, so this is realizing, you know, your entire life has been just an illusion. You know, it's um, stories that have been told to you uh, that you've believed and realizing, you know, that you are not attached to the material world. You are a spiritual being. Um, you are not this three, 3D physical body. So um, he's really awakening into you know, this 5D connection is what I'm feeling here. And it is help, helping him to see this new future, which, you know, ultimately he will be taking a leap of faith towards, towards following his heart. So it's all about awakening consciousness. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from... Myths and Mermaids. Storm Chaser. Okay. Currents control me into the night. They try to entrap me. I knew that they might. I look to the stars and I know it's not right, but we all seek pleasure. So I look in my heart and I try to express the very forces I'm trying to repress. But each time I discover I'm loving it less, for we all seek pleasure. A lovely young mermaid sits upon the sea, awaiting an electrical storm. Unafraid, she welcomes the energy and excitement it will provide, prepared to harness it and relish in its power. She rides atop the waves, expectant and yet relaxed. So the message is expect creative energy. Energy is in the air. You will soon be struck with profound creative power. Tap into this energy and find the inspiration to create through art, writing, or another form of expression. Be warned, the force will build up and it will be released. It is best to select the, a proper creative outlet so it does not turn into a destructive force. This creative energy can produce amazing results and tap into artistic reserves you never knew you had. If you open up yourself, if you open up, open yourself up to the power and are receptive at the right time, now is the time to complete that project you have been wanting to finish, but have had trouble wrapping up. It also, it's also the ideal time to start something new, uh, your signature piece, your work of a lifetime. If you do not do it soon, you may miss the exceptional opportunity. Who knows when it will come again? So, yeah, I'm getting that spirit is asking the masculine to, you know, something will come in, um, you know, with that wheel of fortune and it will open him up. It will set him ablaze with the sun and obviously it has to do with his heart. Uh, so spirit is asking him to embrace that and be creative um, and don't be trapped by fear just to relax and allow that energy to move through you much like the magician does manifest that new beginning for yourself all right i hope this made sense i don't know uh having a really hard time talking lately uh so yeah let me know if it resonates peace and much love